Hi, in this video we're going to talk about place value in our number system. By the end of this video you should be able to read and write numbers using words and identify the value of a digit in a number by its place value. This is a place value chart. The white boxes are for digits. It is 12 digits long. Each digit will go into a special group called periods. This is the billions period, the millions period, the thousands period and the units period. Each period is three digits long. Each digit will go into a column. This is the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, the thousands column, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, the millions, the ten millions, the hundred millions, and then the billions, the ten billions, and the hundred billions. You might notice a pattern to our place value chart. This is a base 10 system. We call this because each column is a different power of 10. Let's take a look at an example. I've written 86132709 into my place value chart and I want to be able to write that number in words as well as as an ordinary digit. To do that I write 86,132,709. Notice how I don't say units at the end of my number. To write this as a, as a whole number I would write 86,132,709. Note the spaces in between the periods. Take some time to pause and summarize by writing out the place value chart as well as the example that I've given you. I'll give you a second example in just a moment. Okay, on to our second example. This is the number 2096417 and I want to be able to write it in words. Take some time to pause and try and say it out loud to yourself and try and write it down. Alright, here we go. This is 2,096,417. To write this as a number, it would be 2,096,417 with my spaces between the millions and the thousands. Summarise by writing out this particular example, you don't necessarily have to write out another place value chart for it. Alright, now we're going to go from a worded number and we've got to try and write it in digits. To do this I'm going to use my place value chart, although you may not need to. I'm going to write the 4 in the billions column followed by 245 in the millions period, followed by 906 in the thousands period, followed by 108 in the units period. This number is 4,245,906,108. Get this example down as well so that you can show that you can go from a worded number into digits. Our final example is by is getting you to work out what the place value of a digit is within a number. Now again, you might be able to do this just by looking at it, but I'm going to use my place value chart to help me out. I'm going to put this 75,809 into my place value chart and note that the 5 is in the thousands column. That means that the place value of the 5 is 5,000. Get this example down so that you can refer to it when you're working on your own independent learning. And that's it. Hopefully now you know how to read and write numbers using words and also how to identify values of digits in a number from its place value. If you don't, rewind to the examples and listen to it again and ask some questions in class next time I see you. Good luck.